Okay, today we have uh, something super exciting. I have three ways that even dead broke people can make a crap load of money online. And you do not have to have any experience at all. No experience. So the first one we're going to talk about is called referral swapping. This is where you're becoming a, a master joint venture partner and you're going to get paid from each of these partners that you have and you're going to tie them all in. It sounds confusing, but watch this. Okay, so we come to Google right now. If you type in marriage counselor, so what we're going to do is all of these referral partners are going to trade us referrals and they're going to pay us on the referrals that we send them, but we're going to use them against each other. So watch this. So a marriage counselor would have people that are on the edge of what? They are on the edge of divorce. So if we tell this marriage counselor, we'll do something like rank them, you know, get them some easy free rankings or something like that. If they give us referrals from people that they can't help, people that are hopeless and they know they're going to get a divorce, then what are we going to do with that? Watch this. Boom, we come over here, we're going to find divorce attorneys and we're going to partner with those divorce attorneys. Those divorce attorneys are going to give us leads in exchange for leads that we can charge for as well. So we're going to be charging anywhere from uh, maybe 50 to $200 per lead. So that's free leads from this marriage counselor that then comes over here and turns into 200 bucks possibly from this divorce attorney. But we don't stop there. We're going to ask... We're going to keep it open. OK, so the divorce attorney is also going to be giving us referrals. We're trading, we're trading and everything like that. So we're going to take the referrals that divorce attorneys give us. And where are we going to send them to? We're going to send them to realtors. Why? Because when a person gets a divorce, they usually split things. And when they split it, the house might be too big or the bad memories or something like that. So they might not want to stay there anymore. So now we can give this list of free referrals that we got from the divorce attorneys that initially came from the marriage counselor to this realtor. And this realtor can probably put the house on the market and get a big commission off of that. And maybe you even get a cut of that. Now, let's keep it moving. If you think that was difficult, watch this. What about mechanics? OK, you can post on mecha on uh, Craigslist to get some free mechanic leads and referrals in exchange uh, for them sending you referrals as well. Referrals for what? OK, so check this out. Boom. If a person's car is just too difficult to fix, is way beyond repair, that mechanic can send you those free leads. And guess what? You can charge used car lots for those free leads. They can call those people and say, hey, my friend is your mechanic. He says your car is like the transmission needs to be like rebuilt and all of that. It'll be way less expensive if you just came down here and let's see if we can get you in this car for no money down. So as you can see, that is called referral swapping. You're literally just swapping the referrals and getting commissions off of each one. And it costs you nothing to do. It's about knowing how to make great partnerships. Now, the next way that dead broke people can make a crap load of money with no experience is something called pay per call. This is a, a, a niche in affiliate marketing or you can call it CPA marketing. Basically, you will get paid every time you generate a phone call for a local business or an entrepreneur. You do not have to sell. You do not have to be skilled. You don't even have to really know how to drive crazy traffic. I'm going to show you all of that in this instance. So you're definitely going to want to stay around. Make sure you also uh, stay to the end because I saved the third one, the best one for last. OK, so this is a website called Offer Vault. Why are we on Offer Vault? Well, because I told you, you can use pay per call offers to make a crap load of money. So check this out. <clears throat> this is dumpster and porty potty rent or porty potty, uh, porta potty rental. <laughs> These are final expense inbound leads. OK, they are looking for calls. This website will show you uh, different companies, different affiliate networks that are looking for phone calls and they'll pay you for these phone calls. You do not have to get any sales. This is mold remediation, but let me just show you how high it can go up to. Let's type in rehab. Boom. As you can see right here, this offer is $825 just for a phone call. This one is $600 just for a phone call. $500 just for a phone call, so on and so forth. This is for addiction 
treatment. Okay, guys, these addiction treatment facilities will pay you crap loads of money just for the phone call because they can make up to like $26,000 just for an in-treatment uh, uh, patient, okay? So what they want is a two-minute phone call. You could generate a two-minute phone call, all right? And then they're going to give you the restrictions of what you can and what you can't do, what softwares you can use, what type of traffic. You can't incentivize the traffic and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just giving you an example of this. So how would you get traffic to this. There's many ways of getting traffic to these calls. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Craigslist real quick. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways. And remember, the third way that, you know, people that are dead broke can make money. You're not going to want to miss it. So we'll go to Los Angeles real quick. And uh, let us choose Los Angeles. This is Craigslist. Okay. So now, what we want to do is we want to play the matching game. Did you know that it is free to uh, um, put a listing on Craigslist? It is free to put listings on Craigslist. So, you know, some of these offers will, will not allow you to uh, post listings on Craigslist. They don't like that traffic because those are usually tire kickers, low ball, not really that serious or whatever. So I'm going to show you multiple ways that you can go ahead and do this even without Craigslist, okay? So what we want to do is we want to match it up. So we're going to take away that. And now it went back to showing us what we need. Okay, so let's see if any electricians are posting on Craigslist. Watch this. Electricians. Okay, as you can see, there are 1,392 listings for electricians in los angeles so that means that you can come over here and create listings too remember what i said it is free to create listings on craigslist so you can literally join these little camps join these little affiliate networks and then get approved and then come over here or you can have somebody on fiverr do it if you got a couple dollars and create as many listings as you can to start generating uh, phone calls to these offers. It costs you nothing to do this. You just apply. Look at this roof replacement, uh, two two to thirty uh, dollars. Look at this plumbing one right here. They only want ninety five seconds, and you can get twenty four dollars from that one. As you can see, this person is a plumber and an electrician. So people actually come to Craigslist to hire people for the low. Okay, so then they have more. They look. They even have divorce lawyers on here. Flight bundles, pool companies, bath and showers. This is 56 bucks right here. Look at this COVID cleaning. There's a whole nother business now. Then we got the heat pump, the spectrum, internet, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now, guys, so how would you go about getting some different types of traffic? So we would, we want to pick some that aren't going to be too uh, competitive on the first page of Google, because if you could rank, on the first page of Google, you're going to get an abundance of free traffic. OK, so let's see if we can find one that will be easy to rank on the first page of Google and bingo. We'll take this one. Now, it's only two bucks, but I guarantee you that you could rank with a video. You know what I'm saying? You find some municipality in uh, in Los Angeles. OK, so flower delivery. And let's see, Sherman, look at this, Sherman Oaks, California. Boom. This is a little tiny municipality. Let's look at the first page of Google and see how competitive it is. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all, man. How do we know? We got some duplicates. We got two Yelps, and then we got more duplicates and some weak websites. Okay. So flower delivery, Sherman Oaks. Then we're going to do this. And if you need long tail, then just go long tail. And what I mean by that is, look what popped up. Same day flower delivery. So get a little bit more specific. Let's see if that went down a little bit. Or did it go up? Hey, it went down. So you guys can go after that. You could probably rank a YouTube video for that. And I know $2 don't seem like too much. But guess what? If it only takes you 10 minutes to rank that YouTube video, how I show you how to do it in my school, uh, you know, you can get in contact with us below in the description. But anyway, two minutes, 10 minutes to rank a video, put the number in there that you got approved for 
from this company in here. And then when people call to get flower delivery, same day flower delivery, then you will start getting paid every single time their phone rings. You didn't have to get any sales. You don't have to do any customer support. You don't have to give any refunds. You don't have to do any of that stuff. So on and so forth. You can use any of these offers to start doing it. I strongly suggest start ranking YouTube videos uh, uh, first and before you start building out some type of website or anything. Remember, a lot of you guys are claiming to be dead broke. So I would I would use these YouTube videos because they're free. If you know how to rank YouTube videos, utilize that skill and combine that with paper call offers. So like then you can start going into the more higher ticket ones like this one is 42 bucks. Then we got personal injury. Uh, we got flight booking and there's so many long tail keywords uh, for that. Watch this. It's a book, a flight from. Uh, look, it starts giving us all of these book a flight from blah, blah, blah. Look at this. A cure to Legos. I don't even know what that is, but Google is suggesting it. And if this company, who is this? Jet Blue and Spirit. If if they fly, then you'll be able to use that. So we got. Let's see how much competition for that. Zero. Oh, y'all are seeing what I'm seeing. You're seeing that there's no competition for this. So I would probably try a video out on that first. But we do have Expedia and Kiwi on the first page, so it could be a tiny bit competitive. But it is cheap to get a press release. You can get a little forty five dollar press release. Uh, name the title of the press release, something like this. Why you should book a flight to uh, from a cure to Legos. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to rank on the first page of Google. Make sure you put your uh, your paper call number in there as your contact number. And boom, you in business, man. Don't play around with this. You, you don't sleep on it, man. You can kill it with this, man. All right. So now let's get back to it. All right. So the number three. The number three thing you should do if you're dead broke to make money. OK, now I can't put speedy on this and I can't guarantee you a certain amount. But this is what I love. What I would do is I would start rentals. OK, and not just any kind of rentals. I would do exotic car rentals. Now, check this out. So you want to do high ticket local drop servicing drop servicing is where you act as a third party okay it's kind of like expedia.com kayak.com um airbnb none of them own the properties none of them own anything that they're renting out but it allows them to have an abundance of uh of inventory so that they're always making money so that's what high ticket drop servicing is. And we want to do that locally so that we're not in comp uh, competition with the national chains or anything. So as we check out the exotic car rentals, let's get a little bit more niche. Let's get a little bit more specific. Look at this Bugatti rental. And then we're going to put us uh, that behind there and give us some more suggestions and everything. Right. So now let's see the level of competition. I told you guys, look at this. A YouTube video can rank on the first page of Google for something like this, something high ticket like this. You know how much it costs? Like how much does it cost to rent a Bugatti? Oh my God. Okay. The day rate for the Bugatti is 20,000 to 25,000, including taxes, which is about the price of a new Toyota Camry. Am I tripping? Am I dreaming? I told y'all, look at that. Like, so you can get a huge chunk of that just by renting it out. So what you, you say, okay, so how would we do that, man? Okay, well, traffic plus irresistible offer equals money. I always tell my students that. Well, check this out, guys. All you have to do, like it's already here for you. These people have the inventory. And that's why I said that you when you when you drop service locally, you don't have competition. You have partners. OK, so all of these people are your partners. So you simply call them, see uh, what they have in inventory, see what their prices are. And then you outrank them, start running ads and stuff like that for super cheap. Or you can just start ranking little videos like this. Ranking little videos like this for free. This has been ranking since 2018. Tell me you can't beat that with a video. Look, it is not an even exact match keyword phrase. You can do that. 
All right, so check that out. Then they got Ferrari. They got Rolls Royce right here. Let's see what it's talking about with this. Okay, so then we got these two guys. They're number one, two. We got the same people in here. Okay, so so far so good. We don't see a video. If you see a video already on the first page of Google, sometimes you can go ahead and try to rank for it again and see if you can outrank them. Other times you might want to just go ahead and uh, try a different keyword. You understand what I'm saying? It's plenty to go around, if you know what I'm saying. But this one is a good long tail keyword. Look, Rolls Royce rental Las Vegas with driver. So now the reason why that's going to be so awesome is because it's going to cost more because of the driver aspect of it. OK, so now check this out. Uh, zero results. I promise you that I didn't do this ahead of time. I promise this is not rehearsed. I just knew because I'm in these niches so much. I like study this stuff. I know exactly what it's going to say majority of the time. Okay. So I would go after exotic something, exotic luxury home rentals, exotic this vacation rentals, exotic freaking tennis shoes. It doesn't matter. You make your, these are the steps. Step one. You find your partners, your partners that are going to do the fulfillment of the service. This is not drop shipping. This is drop uh, servicing. So they're going to be the ones that do the fulfillment. As you can see on the screen, I'm pointing at Rolls Royce Motors. They have the Rolls Royces. You don't. I get that. Right. OK, so now they're going to do the fulfillment. You All you need is their number, their inventory and their, you know, to make sure that they will actually be in service or something like, OK, so you got your partner. Then you just start getting your traffic and then you then then you make your money and it didn't cost you anything. You could rank for these. You could rank for these keywords with videos, like as you saw, I already showed you before, you can rank for these using videos. And you put the phone number in the title and in the video itself. And when people are watching that video uh, on the first page of Google, they will call. And when they book, you know what I'm saying, you get a cut of that. So one of the things we do to control all of that is we make sure that the person books through us. So this is not like paper call where you're going to forward it to the partner. If you're going to drop service it, you want to actually send out the invoice. OK, remember, like a third party site like Airbnb doesn't put you in direct con uh, contact with the owner of the property. They collect the payment on the uh, site, get their taxes, get their transaction fees, and then they send the host their cut. This is exactly what you want to do. You contact these people right here. Let them know you're going to be sending them people that want to rent out their exotic vehicles. They're going to say, OK, cool. No problem. OK, so now that you got that, you're going to go start ranking a whole crap load of videos for free on YouTube, even putting up some Craigslist listings for free on Craigslist, uh, joining some dang on travel groups for free on Facebook, doing whatever you got to do to flood the dang on area. Right. And then when those calls start coming in saying, yeah, man, I'm going to be in town uh, Wednesday and I'm going to need a ride for this or that or this, that, this. OK, you get their budget. You let them know what you have, what vehicles you have. Right. You can put that on the list or you can create a free website and uh, send them to it and they can purchase through that. Or you can just manually send them an invoice. You can send them an invoice through freaking Zelle. You can send them an invoice through PayPal. If you use that, you can send them an invoice through anything you want to. And when you get your cut, for example, let's say that the cost of, uh, you know, for the day is uh, normally twenty five hundred. OK, you charge four K and you find some coupon. I don't want to just like make this stuff up. Let's go over here to Groupon. OK, because I, I just want you all to understand that, it, you know, this is not that difficult. OK, watch this. I'm trying to go to Las Vegas. Let's go to Las Vegas. OK, so now we're going to get a five star. Restaurant. OK, so why are we getting a five star restaurant coupon? Well, first of all, Groupon has already got all of these people that list on Groupon to agree to lowering their prices so we can use that in our benefit. Right. Using the irresistible offer. OK, so we got some uh five star then we got some four star 
uh restaurants and hotels and stuff so what you want to do is find a super super cheap deal so it wasn't so it won't go too far into your margins okay so look we got a resort credit right here um we have 26 percent off this flight helicopter situation for their experiences and stuff look four star hotels so that's only 59 dollars a night so basically what you want to do is you want to beep up the offer so usually with just the car is 2500 but check this out they're going to be coming in from uh different towns and stuff a lot of people that rent this stuff out they from out of town get to the airport want to be fresh and all of that so they get taken to these rental places and then they guess what they're going to have to do they need a place to sleep you think they're going to sleep in a hood with a rent uh exotic rental car no they're going to need an exotic some type of resort or some type of uh, nice hotel. And they're going to want to eat in certain nice places. So if you combine all of that, create like some type of bundle package. And guess what? You can get the food for super cheap, 119 45 bucks, and blah, blah, blah. And you can get the hotel. Let's get the hotel. Let's see if we can find a hotel. So you're going to be able to at least pocket one to two thousand dollars or we'll just say fifteen hundred. Right off of that you know this is hypothetical depending on how much you guys uh um uh, you know agree on you and your partners right all right so now check this out as you can see look 181 117 look at all these discounts 181 197 again 155 for that one 128 man this is awesome dude 216 okay 21 bucks for that one okay and this is just because you created this irresistible offer and, and a lot of people will say well with high ticket drop servicing you know why wouldn't they just go to the source well because the source only offered them what they asked for you gave them what they asked for plus some extra things that they probably didn't know that they needed but they're going to highly appreciate so they're going to pay the four thousand versus the twenty five hundred because guess what they got to find somewhere to sleep and eat anyway so if you hook them up, you know what I'm saying? You be very creative, then high ticket drop servicing is the best option out of all of these. And it doesn't cost you anything to start it, but uh, uh, some minutes. OK, OK. So this was three ways even dead broke people can make money.